Hi Stampers, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. I have a new project for you today. This is called a diamond fold card. This little diamond is actually a pocket where this flap tucks into and then you just open up the two, the two panels to reveal the sentiment on the inside. So again, this closes flat, this closes over that one and this, then the flap at the top tucks into the diamond fold. So I'm going to show you some of the supplies um, that we need for the card. So let's get started. For supplies, we're going to be using a 12 by 12 inch piece of It's My Party designer paper. And you're actually going to cut, off, cut it at 11 by 11. So you'll have a one inch strip on two sides that you need to cut off. Rich Razzleberry, four inches by four and one quarter inches. And two pieces measuring one and three quarter by one and three quarter. Soft Sky, three and three quarters by four inches. And two pieces measuring one and a half by one and a half. You're going to need Whisper White for stamping, just a scrap piece. Another Whisper White piece measuring three and a half by three and three quarter. And lastly, Whisper White measuring two and a quarter by two and a quarter inches. So that's it for all the paper layers that we're going to need. For punches, we've got the Biddy Butterfly Punch which goes with the Papillon Potpourri stamp set. And I'm going to be using this butterfly image here. And we're also using Awesomely Artistic, and I'm going to be using the little fern images plus the little uh, dots, or like some of my customers call them dirt. For ink colors, Soft Sky, Melon Mambo, and Rich Razzleberry. So let's get started on our project. I'm going to bring in my Simply Scored scoring tool. And for my designer paper, I want my stripe side to show on my card. So I'm going to flip it on the opposite side. And I make sure that this is tucked into right directly in the corner. And we're going to fold this over if I can grab it. Just kind of works as a little holding tool at the same time. So we're going to score that nicely. And now you're going to turn the designer paper so it's sitting up against the ridge here. And you're going to score twice, three inches and five and a half inches and you're going to flip this over and do the same thing three and five and a half now you're going to turn this so your the point is hitting on the guide right here but make sure that you line up your designer paper so that it's sitting straight against Let's see, it looks like the seven and seven eighths inch line right before it. And you're going to find the three and a half inch score line and just work your way down and score that right there. Okay, that's it for the scoring portion. Now you're going to bring in the bone folder and just fold everything on the score line, on all of the score lines. And I'm folding every, everything towards the inside. And the last one is the one on the opposite end. Okay, now that you have that all folded. You're going to bring in your paper snips and I don't know if you can see here or not. See where the two fold lines meet? There's a little triangle right here on each side. You're going to cut that triangle off. So just snip 
two of the triangles. And this is what your cardstock or your designer paper should look like at this point. The next step, what we're going to do is glue each side together so that this no longer opens. But you're going to leave this little triangle to the first score line. You're not going to add glue to that one. Because once we have this all glued, this is where we're going to open this up, press it down. And there's your little diamond fold. This is what your card is going to tuck. The other end is going to tuck into this diamond. So let's open this up. And all I'm doing is going around the all the edges. And as I said, do not go into this portion of it. And we're going to fold this over and press everything in place. Okay, I've trimmed all of the edges that were not even, so everything's nice and even. And again, you have the pocket on this side that remains unglued. And now what I've done is when I press this in place, I didn't push down on the diamond too hard because I wanted to add more adhesive because you're doing the same thing that you did on this end but for this one you're going to press it in place because this one does not need to tuck so this one will actually fold in like this this one goes over the first one and then your flap at the top will tuck in so now all we have left to do is to decorate the front of it I'm going to start out with the stamped layers. So for the inside of the card, we're going to layer the pieces this way. And let me make sure I have them facing the right direction. So it goes, the longer side is going this way. So I'm gonna dig out the white and bring in my ink colors. I wasn't sure at this point too what I was going to use for sentiments and I just now decided to bring in the birthday blooms stamp set and I'm going to use the happiest of birthdays to you on the inside of the card. So I'm going to start out with the soft sky ink and I'm going to add a couple of the fern images and I stamp twice without re-inking so you get the little lighter effect there. Going to add in the smaller fern image and do the same thing. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper and with the rich razzleberry I'm going to stamp on my scrap first and then over my ferns. The butterfly I'm going to stamp with Melon Mambo and cut one out. And we're going to position him right over the stamped images. And I'm not using stamping dimensionals on the inside because I do want this to lay flat. And now I'm going to bring in the sentiment and I'm going to position it more towards the top in case somebody wants to write a message right there. So now that we have this layer all stamped, I'm going to glue it to the soft sky layer. and follow that with rich razzleberry and that's going to go on the inside of the card so we're going to add adhesive to the last layer that goes to the inside 
Okay, so that that's what that looks like on the inside. Now we're going to fold this over and bring in the smaller squares. I'm going to add the soft sky to the rich razzleberry. And we'll just glue that to the center of the square. Or I guess I should call it a diamond. And for this one, I'm just going to add another butterfly. And I'll just glue that to the center. Again, we're trying to alleviate all the bulkiness that we can so that this will stay closed. So that one's all set. And we're going to do the same thing for the front. Now for the front, I'm going to do something a little bit different only because this is designer paper and it is a little um, flimsy where the fold was in the center. So that's what this whisper white layer is for. We're actually going to put it on the inside of the, the pocket, the, the front part of the pocket. So my adhesive, I won't put any right on the edge right here just so we can tuck it in and glue it in place. And that's just going to add more stability so that this will stay closed. Before that, it was flimsy and it kept popping out, but now we're all set. So now I'm going to bring in the For You. I'm going to stamp that right there, and we're going to use one more butterfly. This will be the last one. And this one, I am going to use Stamping Dimensionals. I'm actually going to use my scissors and just cut one of these little tiny pieces on the edge. Because this is so small, I don't want it showing from behind. So there, our card is finished. You could always add some ribbon up here. Um, I don't have any soft sky or rich razzleberry to match that right now. I ran out of the, um, the glitter ribbon that we have that would be so perfect for up here. But this tucks right into the pocket. So when the recipient opens it, it goes this way and this way. And there's the inside of the card. I hope you like my project for today and I hope you'll give it a try. I'll list all the supplies I used at the end of my video and a link to my online store. Thanks so much for stopping in and have a good day.